Hello everyone. Welcome to the 1000 MCQ series of Food Safety Officer Examination. This is our exclusive course for Food Safety Officer in which you will get more than 1000 MCQs, topic wise MCQ test, model exams etc. at just rupees 499. Starting with the first question of the day, which of the following is considered a primary source of spore forming bacteria in food processing environment? Is it air, soil, water or human skin? Yes, the answer is soil. Let's see the explanation. Spore forming bacteria, principally the bacillus species are important determinants of the milk. So because of their high heat resistance, this particular bacillus species spores are capable of surviving the heat treatment process of the milk and this lead to the spoil spoilage of the final product. Now soil is highly contaminated with bacillus species and the spores which can occur in a range of 4 up to 6 log spores per gram of palm soil. Now in presence in soil when we say the bacillus cereus thrives in the soil adapt to animals like the earthworms and the human gut as a pathogen or microbiota and grows in food and free. Coming to the next question, salmonellosis involves, does it involve introtoxin and exotoxin, introtoxin and cytotoxin, exotoxin and cytotoxin or cytotoxin alone? Yes, it is introtoxin and cytotoxin. Salmonellosis is also known as Salmonella gastroenteritis. So, it is caused by the rod shaped gram negative bacterium that is Salmonella. Now, there are two species of Salmonella. First one is Salmonella endrica and Salmonella vongori. Now, both these species can cause disease in humans, and the most common one is Salmonella endrica. Now, let's see the symptoms. The symptoms include acute onset of fever, abdominal pain diarrhea, nausea and vomiting. Coming to the sources, Salmonella is mainly obtained from the food chain. It passes through the food chain. Right. Now, coming to the particular bacteria, Salmonella, it is a gram-negative rods genus which belongs to the family of Enterobacteriaceae. Now, it can survive for several weeks in a dry environment and several months in water or aquatic environment. Salmonella endrica, which is the most common species, again can be divided into two serotypes. First one is dubbing in cattle and the second one is chloriaceous in pigs. Now, these two serotypes can cause diseases in humans which are life-threatening. Now, let's see what is this different types of toxin. First one is enterotoxin. Next is exotoxin and the third one is cytotoxin. Enterotoxin means this is released in the intestine. Right. So, this is released in the intestine of organism. So, this is the main cause of food poisoning and intestinal diseases. Streptococcus enterotoxins. So, this we know it is one of the most causative agent of food poisoning. So, here it is an enterotoxin. Now, coming to exotoxin. Exotoxins are always secreted by certain species into the environment or the surrounding. So, these exotoxins are heat labile proteins which are secreted by certain species of bacteria diffused into the surrounding medium. Now, both gram negative and gram positive bacteria can produce exotoxin. One of the examples is butylium toxin, which is produced by Clostridium butylium. Coming to cytotoxin. Now, cytotoxin is mainly important for impairing the cell functions. Okay. A substance that has a toxic effect on important cellular functions such as a venom or chemical agent. So, these, these are mainly acting on the killer T cells. Right? So, here one of the example of these are Salmonella. The cytotoxin which is produced by Salmonella it can account for tissue damage and possibly facilitate invasion. Coming to the third question of the day. Clostridium perfringes poisoning is associated with. Is it meat products? vegetables, canned food or fish products. Yes, it is meat products. Clostridium perfringes. It is a gram-positive, non-motile, anaerobic, spore-forming, rod-shaped bacteria. Now, the maximum temperature for its growth is 55 and the optimal temperature is 
43 to 47 degree celsius and the growth is mainly restricted to 15 to 20 degree celsius now the organism can not grow below ph 5 or above ph 9 now the food involved are the spores have been found in part of samples of most raw foods examined as well as in soil sewage and animal feces most commonly involved are meat that have been cooked allowed to cool slowly and then held for some time before consumption meat and poultry products account for about three quarters of the outbreak at, attributed to clostridium perfringens right. the disease coming to the disease it causes what gastroenteritis and the sun, symptoms will usually start to appear within 8 to 24 hours following the ingestion now the symptoms include acute abdominal pain diarrhea and gas formation most outbreaks such as that the ingestion of millions of viable cells of this clostridium perfringens per gram of food is required for the formation of uh, the appearance of symptoms now the toxin which toxin endotoxin endotoxin is released in the gut during sporulation of the cells which results in excessive fluid accumulation in the intestinal lumen the introtoxin is relatively heat sensitive right we have learned that exotoxin is heat alive while endotoxin is heat sensitive and this can be inactivated at 60 degrees celsius for 10 minutes now coming to the next question scarlet fever and septic sore throat are diseases caused by is it bacillus cereus streptococcus pyrogens arizona pinchavi or shigella boidi the answer is streptococcus pyrogens scarlet fever which is also known as scarletina now this is an infection that can develop in humans who are having strep throat now, what is the characteristic? It is having bright red rash on the body, which is usually accompanied with high fever as well as sore throat. Now, the same bacteria which causes a strep throat can also cause scarlet fever. Now, streptococcus pyrogens will cause this type of diseases. Coming to the other thing, the other bacteria which is given in the option, that is Bacillus cereus. Now, Bacillus cereus is mainly associated with hemitic syndrome and diarrheal syndrome. Now, coming to Arizona Hinshavi, these are mainly responsible for the formation of or the cause of gastrointestinal problems. Coming to Shigella boigi, these are responsible for bacillary sedentary, which is characterized by acute bloody diarrhea accompanied by fever as well as abdominal cramps. Now, food bond dash results when a person consumed food containing pathogen. Is it infection, intoxication, both A and B, or none of the above? Yes, the answer is infection. Option A. Now, a food borne infection occurs when the microorganism itself is ingested with the food and the person already has a cold or some other viruses, or the microorganism itself is ingested with food, establishes itself in the host body, multiplies to significant enough number which can cause illness or microorganism itself is ingested with the food produces a toxin either in the food or in the host body now the toxin will cause illness or the raw animal product come in contact with food handlers open sore or lesion so the answer for food borne infection occurs when the microorganism itself is ingested with the food establishes itself in the host body multiplies to a significant number that can cause illness now a food borne infection occurs when the microorganism is ingested with the food when it is taken with the food and it will establish itself in the host body and after establishment what it will do it will multiply it will multiply to significant amount so this is how it will cause food borne infection now what is a food borne infection a food borne infection is an inflammation of the stomach and the bowels the infection can occur when you eat or drink something that is infested by a bacteria virus or a parasite now this infection can lead to diarrhea nausea vomiting abdominal pain abdominal cramps and sometimes fever also now the abdominal infection or the food borne infection can last between one to three days now this can be caused because of 
food poisoning food allergies improper food handling practices or contaminants which is present in the food the food born bacteria is mainly involved clostridium botulinum clostridium perfringens bacillus subtilis bacillus cereus campylobacter jejuni tronobacter sakazaki escherichia coli listeria monocytogenes staphylococcus aureus yersinia enterocolitica and the food born viruses involved hepatitis a virus norovirus and the food born parasites are cyclospora seitinesis toxic plasma toxoplasma gondii and trisnella spirulis now listerosis listerosis is generally caused by the hepatitis a virus l monocytogenes norovirus or e coli yes the answer is l monocytogenes l monocytogenes means listeria monocytogenes so this is approximate the lowest limits of the water activity limit is 0.92 and the most ideal ph is 4.3 temperature is 0 degree celsius listeria monocytogenes is an anaerobic gram positive bacteria now coming to hepatitis b a virus it is a positive organism for the infection of jaundice or hepatitis a so in which the inflammation of liver takes place so this is caused by the contam contaminated water and food and lack of sanitations and what are the symptoms the symptoms involve yellowing of skin and eyes fatigue loss of appetite and nausea coming to norovirus it is a causative organism of gastroenteritis which is the inflammation of the stomach and the intestine so this is also food borne or water borne disease and the symptom include vomiting abdominal pain and diarrhea coming to e coli or escherichia coli it is infection by e coli by contaminated food Now this is also known as what food poisoning. Now the symptoms include diarrhea and abdominal pain. It is palatively an anaerobic gram-negative bacteria. Now which of the following statements are true regarding botulinum toxin? It is a neurotoxin. Second one, it is a spore-forming saprophytic bacteria. Third one, it is produced by Clostridium botulinum, which is a gram-positive anaerobic bacteria. Yes. Here they have given three statements. So which is the true one? One, two, three. All these statements are true. Now, botulinum toxin is a is a neurotoxin. So this is mainly produced by the organism known as Clostridium botulinum. Now, which is a spore-forming, saprophytic, gram-positive, and anaerobic bacteria. Botulinum, which is a food borne disease, which is caused by botulinum toxin. So this is released by Clostridium botulinum in the food and ingested the same. The toxin of Clostridium botulinum, which is a protein that has been purified and crystallized, is so powerful that only a tiny amount is sufficient to cause death. How does it act? It binds to the nerve ending and interferes with the muscle movement. So the initial symptoms include weakness, blurred vision, feeling tired, and trouble speaking. And this will be followed by vomiting, swelling of the stomach or abdomen, and diarrhea. This all may also occur. Now, paralysis can also occur within a few hours after poisoned food is ingested. Which of the following bacterial pathogen in is cold tolerant? Is it Thermus aquaticus, Escherichia coli, Yersinia enterocolitica, or Salmonella species? Yes, it is Yersinia enterocolitica. Yersinia enterocolitica it is capable of growing at temperatures as low as 0 degree celsius and it can survive in cold environment so making it more adaptable to cooler conditions coming to thermus aquaticus it is a thermophilic bacteria so it mainly thrives for higher temperatures nearly about 70 degree celsius coming to escherichia coli mainly grows at 37 degree celsius but can survive at lower temperatures also but although it is not specifically cold tolerant Now coming to Salmonella species, it can survive and grow at cooler temperatures, but again it is not as cold tolerant as that of Yersinia enterocolitica. Coming to the last question of the day, which microorganism is commonly associated with fecal contamination? Is it Clostridium botulinum, Campylobacter jejuni, Bacillus cereus, or Trichinella 
spiralis? Yes, the answer is Campylobacter jejuni. Now, Campylobacter jejuni, the heat tolerant Campylobacter that is of two types, that is C. jejuni and C. coli. Now, these two species can cause significant acute gastroenteritis in humans. They prefer to grow at 42 degrees Celsius and are inactivated above 45 to 50 degrees Celsius. The jejuni species is associated with warm blooded animals and many animals and their animal byproducts used for human and animal feeds can be contaminated or mainly contaminated with jejuni species. Now, various strains have been associated with chicken carcass and fecus, swine carcass and fecus, sheep carcass and fecus, turkeys, pork sausages, and various red meats and ground beef. So this is our specified course for FSO or Food Safety Officer in which you will get more than 10,000 MCQs, topic wise exams and model exams at just rupees 499. Hope you enjoy the video. Thank you.